Kindergarten writers, I just showed you two examples of real pages where authors used labels. So now we are going to do that in our writing. We are going to add labels. You will need your writing book and you need to use lots of colors and lots of details to illustrate a true story that happened to you. You need to be in your picture. This is a story that happened to you. So Alex needs to draw a story about Alex. And Melvin needs to draw a story about Melvin. You need to be in your story. I worked hard to draw a true story about me. I went to the apple orchard with Macy and Mallory. This is true. It really happened to me. I used lots of colors. I added lots of details. Here is Mrs. Motter, and I have my girls, Macy and Mallory, picking apples from the apple orchard. There were pumpkins there. The sun was shining. It was a beautiful fall day. I added hair and my glasses, fingers, and shoes. Make sure that your people have all the important parts that a body needs. Of course, I wrote my name in a pencil. Now I'm going to model how to add labels. That is going to be your next job. So after you draw your beautiful story with colors and details, then you will put your pencil back in your hand to add labels. Let's give it a go. I'm going to make my camera go down a little bit so that you can see my book as a writer. And then I'll hold it up like this to show you the labels that I'm adding. So what I'm going to do is put my pencil back into my hand and I'm going to add words or letters and sounds to my picture. So I just pick something that I want to try to write on here. My story is about apple, so I think it's really, really important that I try to write apple on here somewhere. So I'm going to try to put a, a, apple, a, a, apple. That sounds like an A. A says a, a. I'm going to listen to that word one more time and see if I can write just a little bit more. Apple. Apple. I hear a puh. Puh. Puh looks like P. Apple. That's pretty good for kindergarten writing, friends. You're not going to write like a grown up yet. You're going to write like a kindergartner. And so your words are going to look like a kindergartner wrote it. It should not be spelled perfectly. Kindergartners don't know how to write perfectly yet. That's really important. You might hear one letter. You might put down one sound for your label. That's fine. That's what you're able to do right now. So watch me do some more stretching. Stretching means I say the word slowly and I write down what I hear. I'm going to try to stretch out sun. 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 That sounds like a snaky S to me. So I'm going to put an S. S sun. S sun. S sun. That sounds good. That sounds good for me. You know what? I know how to write Macy's name super fast because she's part, in, part of my family. And I know how to write her name really well. You might know how to write mom. Dad. You might know how to write your brother's and sister's name really fast. You can just write their name in your story. So I'm going to write Macy because I know her name really fast. I write it all the time. So I'm just going to put Macy. Macy's in my story, so I'm just going to put her name there. I know how to write Mallory's name because I write her name all the time. She's in my family. I know it. I just know how to write it. I don't need to stretch it out. I can just write Mallory. Mallory. I'm going to try to do a little bit more labeling. I'm going to try to write bag. They were putting all their apples in a b-b-bag. Say that with me. 
B. Bag. Say it nice and slow and stretch it out. Bag. B. I hear B. That looks like a B. 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 Bag. And I also am going to write pumpkin because those are really nice pumpkins that they had at the orchard. Say it with me. P. P. Pumpkin. 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 I think that sounds like a P for pumpkin. I've put a lot of labels on my story for a kindergartner. I put sun. I put apple. I put pumpkin. I put bag. I put Macy. I put Mallory. I try to stretch out a word and say it slowly and listen to the sounds and write down any sounds that I know. So that is what you are going to do today. And it's a huge, important, big job. So take your time and turn on your thinking brain. Because this took Mrs. Marder a while. I had to think of it. I had to draw it. And then I had to put my pencil back in my hand for labels, labels. And you are going to try to write labels today too.